Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be decluttering this lot because it's getting too full and I need to get rid of some brushes. I've already got my daily brushes out, some spooly, that little brush there, double ender, which I like that one a lot. This brush, this highlighter brush from Real Techniques, this pencil brush thing, thing. Um, a blusher brush from what's it called? Brushworks. I think it's Brushworks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this flat angled brush, which came in a set, which you'll see more of in a moment, from Amazon and it's a very nice brush and i just use it to set the eyelids when i've just primed them and it's so soft so i'm keeping that anyway i'm keeping the real techniques multi-task mini brush and also this puffer brush from wilco which i really like it's a powder brush not a puffer brush so here are my brushes not so many as some people have Hey Kirsty, yeah, she knows, she knows. If you've not seen Kirsty's video on the brushes, I'm going to link it in the description box because I have never seen anybody have so many. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Kirsty, you do know millions of brushes. I, I kid you not. Anyway, I'm getting to these. So, firstly, is this straight flat brush now yeah i'm aware there is some bristles falling out i don't know if you can see that a little bit there some loose bristles but it's nice and soft and i just like that and it's very good for stippling on your foundation so i'm keeping that next one in that very collection Wow, I can't have used this much. It's still got the actual writing on the side. This one is another angled brush, but it's a bit more rounded. And I've used that for foundation as well, and I like it. But I have a feeling this is going to be good for contouring. So I will be, I will be giving that a go when I can get my words out. So, yeah and some of these do need a wash as well shameful so i seem to pop them back in when i've used them once and never get them out again and then they don't get washed and yeah i know i know anyway oh dear this is losing bristles <laughs> this one and i really like this brush but it, oh god it's losing bristles like crazy just see them on the top oh I am going to have to get some new face brushes the reason why I'm doing this declutter but I do like this brush it's a really nice brush and I think it's nice for blusher but I prefer to use that as foundation brush as well and it works really well another one of those right here we go what am I supposed to do with that? I have never known what I'm supposed to do with that. Let me put this down and then I can show you properly. Legit. This is so dense. So dense. And hard packed. There's nothing soft about it as you can see there. Nothing soft. What am I supposed to do with that? I have no absolute idea and it says a face tapered brush. I've tried this on my face, it's rubbish. So I'm getting rid of that because it's useless. I wonder if it's a bit dark in here, it's gone a bit darker. I was leaving the ring light off. There we go. So, the next brush. I'm going to bring out, yes. I'll bring out these two, equally as 
what the hell as with them. What am I supposed to do with those? It says I flat angled and I flat. Who uses brushes like that? I don't use brushes like that. I can't do anything with those. They're stiff. They just don't move. You can't do any blending with that. So I'm getting rid of it. Also, what? They're not, it's like they've not bothered to finish it. And it does feel okay, but it's still a bit dense. I can't work with that, so that's going to go. Ooh. Oh, here's a double-ended one I picked up from Wilco, which is a Smoky Eye Duo brush. Now, when I got that, I really did enjoy it, and then I stopped using it and used other brushes. But it is a really nice soft brush, and it's good for packing colour on the eye, rather than blending so much, and there's a sort of a slanted end there. Good for excuse me good for our brows so i will keep that if i put it in the right pile okay so let's come to this i picked this cheap picked this up cheap not picked it cheap and the barrel's dead loose on it and I've had it a long time and it was really cheap but now it's just shedding the more I wash it the more it sheds but I really really love this it's a real chunky um, fan brush and I love it for highlighting but it's falling apart and it's loose there no idea why it does that because I don't treat them badly Um yeah it has to go i love this brush i'm going to be so sad to say goodbye to it but it has got to go and i've not used it in a while anyway i'm going to lean over with these brushes rather than keep picking them all up so yeah i got a set of these let's bring out most of them or all of them i think they're all in here yeah i reckon they are let's see have a look. I'm not sure yet. I think, oh blimey, there was a lot in this rubbish collection. I don't know why I got this collection, to be honest. Oh, I'll tell you why I did it. I knew these would be cheap, because I did pick them up off eBay for two quid. Don't judge me for that. They looked so colourful, I thought if they're no good, they'll look pretty in the um, display because uh, that's how my mind works. That's why I have no money sometimes because I make silly decisions like that. So, yeah, and they arrived really dull. I mean, they don't look so dull on camera, I have to admit, but they arrived quite dull. However, and some of them are shedding, to be honest. That one's not a bad brush, although it's wobbly, again. Cheapo brushes, I think I'm done with, to be honest. And it's not bad, it's quite soft. I'm not sure what to do with it, to be fair. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it for now. This one. I actually do like it's a nice kind of would say almost flat kind of like that overly shape and i've used that for highlighter and then it's pretty damn good so i will keep that one actually i am going to get rid of that so this one what the hell did i call that it's got no density it's thin it's useless absolutely useless so i'm getting rid of that i need to give brushes a wash um this actually has been washed it's just stained from my shadow i am going to be keeping that that one's okay this one is also a very good brush for blending crease color and i'm going to keep that 
This angled one is also okay for highlighting. I like the angle on it. It's not the best quality, but I do like the angle on that. So I will be keeping that. That one. I mean, exactly what I'm supposed to do with that. I know I could use it for putting colour on the lower lash line, but seriously, so no, that's going to go. That one's okay. I like that for... I like that for... Um, if I'm using brow powder, I'm putting product on there to use for that. So that's okay. That, what the hell. It's neither an eyeshadow brush or a brow brush or anything. So that's going. Right. So where are we at? Let's get these little guys here. I picked these up also cheap. I just like the look of them and I thought they'd be quite good. And actually they are. I don't use them much these days because I go onto other brushes and then I forget. So this one here is like a round brush, but short. That is a nice brush. And these are actually not bad. They're a bit light, to be honest, but not too bad. And yeah, I do like that. I'm yet to work with it properly, but yeah, I do like that sort of stain. This one. I love this one. This is nice for blending colours in the crease and I just really like it, so that's staying. Also this one, it's a flat sort of kind of brush and it's a nice brush and it could do for the lower lash line, it works well, so that's stage two. Oh, cricking my neck, so I'm going to move this back forward. Um, This. An old concealer brush, not old to me, but an old styled one. And it come from, well, I wish I could read that. Not with the glasses on my face. Not a clue, not a clue. So that, apparently it's a concealer brush. Yeah. But I keep it because it's good for a lip brush and it could also be good for an inner corner brush. Bit long. So more more a lip brush if you've got lipsticks, of course. No, let me demonstrate this. If you've got lipsticks like this and you find the end bit pulled out and you've got more lip product there, it's good for that kind of thing. So, I am going to keep that. Another brush in here is this puffy brush. This came from Wilco and it's a nice brush. It's not as soft as it was. I may have to just go in with something a bit more softer for it and see if it'll go a bit softer. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't know, something moisturising to wash it with, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, and it's an half decent brush, it's coming a bit loose, I think the order eventually, but it's okay, and if I'm washing the big powder brush and it isn't dry, I can go in with that one and it's fine. So that's staying. I am going to get these out here. Another part of that collection from Amazon was these. Now, as you can see, it's seen better days here. This one, the bristles are starting to shed a bit and everything. However, these are a nice crease blending brush and I do like them and they still work and I'm going to keep those. Oh yeah, wait for this one. Mind you, no, I did get this to work. Excuse the fact they're all the cleaning i think that is just stained to be fair anyway that's my excuse and i'm sticking with it <laughs> so anyway yeah it is clean actually yeah it is it's just stained so this is like a rounded version a smaller version of that 
So, yeah, that works very well for putting highlighter in the inner corner. And probably the only thing it's good for, but it actually works really well, so I'm keeping that. I'm going to get those. Mm. More brushes in there than I thought. Things I'd forgotten. So, I got these from Wilco, and they actually work really decent for putting on eyeshadow on the lids. So I am going to still keep those, even though I'm not using eye, eye brushes for the lids. I don't know. I just don't know. I tend to go in with my finger and that's it. So these two. Belonged in a set with this one here. That is a good eyeshadow brush again. So I'm going to keep that. And this one. What? I mean, it's a straight edge. It's all even sides. I'm not keeping that. So that can go. This thing is a face mask brush. It's seen better days, so that's going to go. This. Hmm. I have tried and tried and tried to make this work. I've tried to use it for eyeshadow, tried to use it for brows, tried to use it for highlighter, kid you not. Tried even for contour side of the nose. This thing doesn't work for me. It just doesn't work for me. I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. And it's thin and it's crappy and it's going. I just can't use that. I just can't work with it. It was a waste of time purchase. And I won't purchase brushes like that anymore. Because it's pointless. Right, these two. These, um, these came with a... Aldi palette where there was dupe in the Urban Decay Naked Eat and another Naked palette. And these pushes are really good. I like the fact they're a bit more oval shaped and a bit flatter and they do work really well. And they've also got them flat ends which I don't tend to use because they're a bit useless but those are really, really good so I'm keeping those. This brush. I just use that for um, putting face masks on. That's all I use that for. When I ordered this, they said that was an eyeshadow brush. And when that turned up, I was like, really? Because that looks like an old style foundation brush to me. So anyway, um, yeah. It does for the face mask, nothing else. It's no good for anything else. Oh, well, now I've another one of those in there. I've clearly used it. Um, oh, that's also good for if you're cutting the crease. That works for that as well. Keep that and get it washed. Um, an eyebrow thing without the smoothie, so that can go. Uh, I have this one I got from Cherry's. I love the sparkliness of it, but the brush is pretty useless. I don't like the fact it's too short. And I just can't work with that. I just don't seem to be able to work with it. I'm keeping it because I'm a magpie and I like the little sparkles. So, next one is this. It's not actually that bad. Um, it's very soft. It puts powder on the face. Yes, it was cheap, but it isn't bad either, and it's a nice little travel brush. Um, I am going to keep it because it's not actually bad. And the last few here. So, I have this brush, which also needs a wash. Oh my goodness, I am skank. So that one, I got free with one of them oval foundation brushes. And it's okay just to use to cut the crease. And that's all I'd use it for. These two. Came with a... Trying to think which palette these arrived with. Uh, 
can't think for the life of me to be honest. I do not know. Um, one of the pallets, we had two of them, so. Ah, the W7 ones. Uh, don't like sponge tips. Useless. But these was. That's what it thought to me there. <laughs> Just fell apart. How the hell did that do that? Anyway. So, that part's alright just for cutting the crease. I have used it to pop on highlighter on the brow bone and it's not bad. I bet that comes off as well. Although it's not tempting to. Anyway, two of those. I'll keep them in there until they go a bit crappy and then they'll go. So guys, that's all there is. I've not got rid of a lot. I've got rid of, if I reach over, that one, there are two, drop one on the floor. Oh, blimey. It's one of them weeks. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12 so all them are going because there's no point so they're going to go and then i'm going to pop back in the ones that i'm going to be keeping that is really weird i've never seen a brush do that before mm. right pop them in that one Pop the little one in there last because it needs to stand up a bit. Still leaning over, still hurting me back. Don't know why I do it. Oh, hot flush. Age related problem. So, before I tip that everywhere on the floor because it was going. Pop that one in there. That's much better. To be honest, I don't know why I'm keeping that. No, I'm not going to keep that either. So, as you can see, that's made a difference. I need to be getting some more face brushes. And I'll probably pop these out then. Those ones here. But I would like some more better ones. So, that's the brush declutter. I've been waffling on for 23 minutes about brushes and I can't believe that. I'm so sorry. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this content. Thank you so much for watching me. I will see you again soon. Goodbye everyone.